Hello folks, welcome to my channel, Nasak. Today I'm going to continue to talk about Oracle Cloud Free Tier. If you watched my previous video four months ago, I recorded a video to show you how to get two free and permanent VPS from Oracle Cloud Platform. If you follow that video, now you should have one Oracle Cloud account then that should give you two free and permanent VPS. Today's video is regarding Oracle's new free tier offering. If you look at the layer free tier policy, you will see they change a little bit, they add this in. You can create it up to four instances of ARM and pure A1 compute. Each instance you can have one OSV CPU and six gig RAM. This is most generous cloud free tier I ever see. It happened mostly like uh, one month ago, June 7th, 2021. You can see Oracle offers the most significant always free ARM resources, 4 old CPUs, 24 gig RAM. I never saw this kind of thing before. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this ARM-based virtual private server in the Oracle Cloud. Just for your information, one OCPU on x86 CPU architecture equal two virtual CPUs. One OCPU on ARM-based CPU is equal one virtual CPU. So we can create four of them. Each of them can have one OV CPU and the six gig RAM. In four months ago, if you look at my video, you can see that wasn't in their offer. Just one month ago, they starting to release this new ARM-based virtual private server. I logged in my account here. You can see each tenant gets the first 3,000 OCPU hours and 18,000 gigabyte hours per month for free to create Ampere A1 compute instances. This equal to four OCPUs and 24 gig RAM. I already created one and that was running well. So right now let's start create a new one. And given the ARM2 as a name, let's um, make some changes on the image and the shapes. So you can have Ubuntu, Center OS, Oracle Autonomous Linux, Oracle Linux, Oracle Linux Cloud Developer. And also you can change the versions, such as uh, you can change uh, Oracle Linux to version 8 which I prefer. At the same time, you can do the shape change, change the shape, instance type. Uh, by default, you're going to use AMD. Uh, OCPU will be default one OCPU and one gig RAM. Um, in this lab, we're going to use standard A1 Flex um, based processor instance. We also can change the CPU. We can use two, three, four, at the most four of CPUs and 24 gig RAM at the most. So I'm using the default one of CPU and six gigabytes RAM for this instance. Now you can choose your private key, public key. Uh, I'm going to use in my own keys, 
great instance. It will take probably two minutes to get your instance provision. And uh, I will come back once it's ready. While it's provisioning, we want to check out our subnet settings. There's a access security list here. So I already populated with some my own rules in the list. But uh, if you haven't, you may need to think about adding some firewall rules, security ingress rules in here. Now the status of your instance became screen, so it shows running. We also have the public IP available. I just logged in. Let's uh, take a look. We also can look our OS release. So we are using Oracle Server 8.4 version. We are running on ARM-based platform, which is show you a ARC64. So if you are using AMD or Intel-based processor, that will show you x86 slash 64, this kind of uh, architecture in here. So now we can do system update This probably will take about um, 10 minutes to get it done. I will let it run once it's finished it, and I will come back to continue. So in this lab, I'm going to show you how to install Docker, how to install Docker Compose. We're going to install Container, and then also we're going to install another uh, virtual desktop into inside of the Docker. So we can test the performance and uh, see how this ARM-based VPS can satisfy our needs. So it's a different architecture. Some packages, some programs may not running well, but uh, we will see how Docker running on this ARM-based instance. OK, in probably around eight minutes, the system updated. Now we're going to install our Docker. I'm going to copy all commands to here. And you can find that from the video description, this uh, post regarding all those commands used in this video. Basically, you can just copy paste. Okay, it's done. Let's uh, start a service. We can check Docker version. We have some dependencies need to run at first now using pip3 to install Docker Compose.
nice let's check the version for top compose So Docker Compose just installed. Let's check where is it. You can check the version of the Docker Compose version. It is 1.29.2. Since Docker and Doc Compose are both installed, we're going to install Container. Let's create the volume first. Then we're going to copy the command from our post and then to install a Docker Compose to install a Container. After this step down, we can just open a browser. Right away, we got our Potato Web GUI interface. Let's uh, change password. Create a user, connecting to local Docker. You can see we are using one virtual CPU and we have six gigabyte RAM. Right now we have Potainer running. Our next step is gonna install another Docker which has Ubuntu desktop on it. We can use browser to log into a desktop. So I found out that this Ubuntu dash no VNC image. So we just um to make it simple, we just easily using Docker run command to bring it up. Of course, you have to open the firewall, which is on your subnet security list. So there's two ports. One port is for Potainer 9000. On this no VNC Ubuntu image. You need to open port 6080. You can go back to our web browser. You can open it again. 6080. You can tell in the background. This uh, logs grow rolling up. Now we have a nice web desktop to use for this Ubuntu. So let's take a look. OS release. It's 20.04 LTS version with some minimum application being installed. But of course, we can install more here. For example, we can install Firefox. So that's a web browser. Let's do update first. Then we can install Firefox. In the application, you should see Firefox web browser. You can add a desktop. Now you have a nice web desktop to use and with Firefox installed. You can go to YouTube. You also can go to any website. There's no problem for your ARM based instance to run those things together. So that's pretty much everything I want to show you today about the Oracle ARM-based instance. It is powerful and it is free. So 
If you haven't get your Oracle Cloud account, just go to get it, spin up some virtual instance in the cloud, build your own app, testing it. Lots of fun, lots of potential here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like my video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my video channel, please do it. Thank you for watching.